This video is for adult collectors. Hi everyone, this is a video review of the Transformers Studio Series 86 Bumblebee. As you can see, I've got Bumblebee out of his box already, so getting Bumblebee out of the way. Now I'll go over the box as I usually do at the beginning of my videos. We see nice artwork of Bumblebee on the front. We see a close-up of his face on the side and a zoomed out picture of that same artwork on the other side. It says Transformers the movie on top. And in the back we see pictures of Bumblebee in both of his modes as well as the included backdrop. So let's get that out. Here's the insert that Bumblebee was actually tied onto. I know it's sort of annoying to see Hasbro still using the plastic free packaging for Transformers. Uh, we got the plastic packaging back for Hasbro's other toys, including Marvel Legends, Star Wars. The instructions inside. G.I. Joe. Also got the normal insert from Hasbro they put in most of their toys nowadays. We should be getting the plastic packaging back with the windows soon uh, saw the target exclusive four pack with the legacy prime cliff jumper that has the windows let's, let's test out bumblebee on this backdrop here so here it's perfectly fine i also bought a second bumblebee uh, I happened to find at Target. I thought if I want to keep a second one, I can just return it. But the main reason I got it is because the face was actually scratched on this copy. So this was the second copy I bought. And if I don't want to keep two, I can just return one to Target. And he fits on here in vehicle mode as well uh, i usually don't keep two because in case i find later find him on sale or at ross at a much cheaper price that's when i buy another copy to display in his other mode i'm going to start going over bumblebee in the mode he's packaged in robot mode scene some people online compare this Bumblebee to the Netflix Bumblebee, which came out for the Transformers War for Cybertron trilogy, the one on Netflix. This is a more, much more blockier squared up look to it. Actually, you got the Autobots will hear this time. Like how the chest here is actually it's on the top of the vehicle mode. So no fake parts, no fake vehicle mode parts on Mobile in robot mode. Don't think. Aztec could have fit any in such a small figure. It still looks very awesome. I actually like this block your look more than the Netflix or 
the old Masterpiece Bumblebee. Uh, the one that was more expensive, because if I remember correctly, came with a figure for a Spike or Daniel. Uh, one of the two. Just like that Masterpiece figure, he's got a gun very much shaped in a similar way to that gun we got with the Masterpiece figure. Well, if I remember correctly, it wasn't in this completely silver color. I thought it was blue. Right. As I've... And uh, going over... I feel this figure is blocky. There seem to... Will be some mold details. The feet, which are flat. Uh, the wind. Uh, the windows are in this flat shape. Like how the square on his chest is flat. Overall, I like the blockier, more squared up look of Bumblebee, as well as how the rest of him is very accurate to his G1 cartoon appearance. So, overall, it's a very good looking Bumblebee. Now, to go over the articulation. I mean, now to go over the articulation. Let's see. His head's on a ball joint. Like all the other Studio Series figures. Uh, it seems like it is, but you don't get much uh, wiggle room for up and down movement. Uh, shoulders on a ball joint, which is good. Knees bend 90 degrees. I mean, elbows. Uh, these are the knees. Uh, I was right about them both bending in degrees. Uh, thighs over here. Uh, biceps over here. Uh, go much any direction. But waist rotation here. Ankle pivot. So, well, he's got all the articulation you'd expect from a Studio Series figure. And he looks great. So, overall, robot mode's very good. Now let's go over Bumblebee's car mode. It looks somewhat like a How do I say this? I describe it as a shorter version of the Volkswagen Beetle. That's licensed the masterpiece Bumblebee had. There doesn't seem to be a license for the Volkswagen Beetle mentioned anywhere on the box. So, this is clearly more original, rectangular looking take on Bumblebee's car mode, which I absolutely dig. Again, I do like uh, all the parts of it, which make him look blockier. Uh, roof is flat. Uh, there's a lot of Polygons, sort of molded details on the front hood. Have I called this top part the hood instead of the roof? I think I might have done that for 
like C. Sideburn. This is actually the hood. Fortunately, I don't have a great short term memory. Anyways, moving on. Even that side. For the most part, looks nice and flat. In this area below where the gun is stored looks pretty sharp. Overall, very much love the more compact, squared up look of car mode. I don't remember how to transform OB, but was and felt interesting. I mean, it felt interesting when I converted my first copy of OB into his car mode. So, all in all, it's a fantastic representation of Mombi from the original G1 cartoon movie. Robot mode looks good. I like the blockier feel of him. While also looking very much like his G1 cartoon self. Uh, articulation is as good as you'd expect from a studio series figure. Oh, I mentioned he had an ankle pivot. I kind of forgot about that. Uh, but you can also. I don't think he has any ankle tilt. Anyways, by ankle tilt I mean go up and down, not side to side. Not side to side. Oh uh, wait, just figured out when we does she have a uh, fair amount of ankle tilt. Uh, go down. Uh, those can't tilt up. Yeah. So, articulation will be up to par with modern Transformers Generations figure. Transformation was interesting from what I remember of it and how it felt while I was transforming will be. Carbo looks great too. That blockier more squared up design really translates very well into his car mode too and while it's not officially licensed his car mode feels very much like the Volkswagen Bulby turns into uh, the gun is a nice recreation of one his masterpiece toy came with and I'm as impressed with this figure as I was with the Masterpiece Bumblebee back then. Uh, the first one, not the second one with the fox chest. Along with the fact this figure is much cheaper than the first Masterpiece Bumblebee. Makes this Bumblebee even more worth buying. Oh no, this is a fantastic Bumblebee figure. I hope you liked this video, and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to me. That's it for my review. Bye.